and welcome to Simply Pamela, where we're what? Simply Fabulous. If this is your first time here, I like to say welcome, welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, I like to say, hey girl, so glad you came back to see me. Alrighty, so in this video, I am very excited about it because what we're doing is mixing prints. So if you could tell by the title, it's to mix or not to mix. Because sometimes, you know, you may feel like I just can't get these prints mixed right. So that's why I'm here to help you with that. But if you just, that's not your juice, that's fine. I'm going to show you a picture where I didn't mix the print. So let's start, start with this mixed print look. So I have on this skirt that I've, you've seen before. This one came from Dee Dee's. I just love the fact that it's African inspired, just simple black and white print. But notice how I paired it with a black and white little top. But the top has the black and white and well, it has the white uh, flowers with the yellow in it. So <clears throat> so it's a different kind of print. But because it's the black and white, it works so well with it. But then it adds a pop of color because it adds the yellow in there. So see how that just works well together. And then to, you know, kind of tone down a little bit, I added the black jacket. I tried to continue mixing my prints by adding my hat that has a print to it as well. And this hat was a gift from a friend. Thank you, girl. Appreciate it. <laughs> I have the best friends. So I got the hat that has the mixed print. So really love how that just coordinates together with it. And then I tried to bring that yellow in by adding my, I have my black and white bracelets, but I added that yellow to the coordinate that yellow into the outfit. Notice my shoes. So I have the black and white shoes and I've had these shoes for a while. These uh, came from Nordstrom Rack a few years ago. So like the shoes. Now I will tell you, are they comfortable? Girl, no. <laughs> they are all right for a few minutes to stand up, but otherwise mm -mm, this is a shoe that you, you know, to the car, to the restaurant, and then back home. That's it. Mm -hmm, that's all this is for. But they are cute. They are cute. So black and white shoes. So see how that coordinates. And then I just added my white jelly bag that I got from Dee Dee's as well. And then added just a black earring. You know what? I don't even have a black and white earring. So that's a, a hole in my wardrobe I need to fill. I got to take care of that too. And then I'm adding my black and white shades and see how on the side it has the black and white. So even with that, mixing that print and then it just has the little white right there at the top of it. So I'm carrying this black and white all the way. But now if you'll just notice on this side, you should see a picture of me with the same skirt, but then I'm not mixing up my prints. I have a white top and it just has the black, um, just a black line down the side of the arm. So if you can't, if you feel like I just can't do this, this mixed print thing is just too much. It's not for you, but if you feel like it is, or you just don't feel like you can do it right now, you can do it like I did it right here. So the black and white skirt and then just the button down white shirt. So tell me which look do you like the best? So to mix or not to mix? All righty, I will be back with the next look. All righty, ladies, so I am back with the second look and this is a non mixed print look. Hopefully you're seeing on this side of me where I actually mixed the print. I had this skirt on and this skirt is a Goodwill find and I mixed it with a Goodwill top and it was pink and black and white, I believe. So on this side, hopefully you're seeing me mixing the print also with the shoe. The shoe was mixed print as well. But sometimes you may feel like, OK, I, I want to get longevity out of my wardrobe. How else can I wear this printed skirt? So this time what I did is just paired it with a pink shoe. The, the shoe has a kind of pink, pinky, purpley hue to it. Really love this shoe. And it is pretty comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than the last shoe that I had on. <laughs> so you can wear this, you know, the whole time, not just to the restaurant in the back. You can walk around, you know, a little bit with this one. So love this shoe. Love the color of it. And it is from Ross, like I said, a long time ago. And I just paired it with my Goodwill patent leather belt. Uh, the belt actually is an Ann Taylor belt, but like I said, I got it from Goodwill. And girl, the belt said Goodwill, a dollar or 50 cent for a patent leather belt. Girl, do not sleep on Goodwill. All right. And then the top came from Ross. And what I like about the top is the sleeve on the top. 
because the sleeve adds a lot of interest. And I always try to look for things that just add interest to um, my look. So love the top, love the bold color of it. And then I just added some jewelry. And you've seen my Avon watch before. It has the flowers in it that are kind of pink, uh, pink and uh, red. And then I added my ring, which you've seen a hundred times with the pink. Added my bold pink bracelet. And then I added these earrings. Tell me what you think of these ladies. So these I got from Ross and they just kind of go up your ear. So the hole is down here and then it has a cuff up here and it's just flowers. And I thought that was too cute. So love the earring. So anything that can add depth or add interest to your outfit, think about adding that to it. So I really like the earrings. And then I just added my headband. You've seen this one before. So just the black sparkly. Added my necklace. Love my chunky pink necklace. I've had this for a long time too. Can't remember where I got it from. But any kind of chunky necklace. And then added my purse. That came from City Trends. Love the purse. It has the gold chain on the top. But I love the bee. You know I love the bees. So, and then I'm topping it off with these pink purpley shades. And you've seen those before. So love those. So, this is the look with the non-mixed print. So which look do you like better? This look? Or do you like this look, the mixed print, better? Let me know in the comments. All right, I will be back with the last look. All righty, ladies, so I am back with the final look. And this time I am styling up. Uh, now, this is a mixed print look. So I'm styling up this Goodwill skirt that you've seen me style before. I absolutely love this skirt. I just love how it A-lines. I just, I just love it. So I'm styling up the skirt. This time, like I said, mixed print. What I did was just put it with a Goodwill top. So you know what? This is the shoes, the skirt, and the top all are from Goodwill. So um, the shirt has the blue print in it. And it goes with the skirt because the skirt, as you see here, has the blue in it as well. And I love this outfit together because not only is it mixed print, but then this is texture. So I'm adding texture to my outfit as well, which adds interest to an outfit. So love how these two look together. And then I just added my shoe. And the shoe, the skirt is like an orangey red color and so is the shoe. So I thought they worked well together. Again, like I said, these came from Goodwill and I love a T-strap shoe. That is one of my most favorite shoes, a T-strap, love a T-strap. So added the shoe. And then my jewelry, I just added my big um, bold bracelet, love this bracelet. And then just added my ring and then added my blue earrings. So love the blue earring. So the blue flower. And then this time I added my fascinator because it's getting springtime. So I start wearing more fascinators in the spring. In the spring for my headwear, I like fascinators and I like straw hats. So in the springtime, that's what I try to do a lot of. I just love it. Um, they just change the look of an outfit so it can take something that's more casual, make it more dressed up. And that is my style, just to be more dressed up. But I also want to show you how you can, you know, be more casual on occasion. Then I'm adding my blue jelly bag. Well, like a jelly bag. And that came from DDs. So you've seen that before. But I thought it worked well with the outfit. And then I'm going to top it off with my shades that have the ombre. So they go from like blue to pink. I don't know what, how well you can tell on the camera, but that's what they do. And I really like that. And hopefully on this side, you're seeing the same skirt where I did not mix the print. So the same skirt, and I think I have on a red top with it. So this on this side is the non-mixed print look. So tell me which look you like the best.
Alrighty, ladies. So I enjoyed making this video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I really hope that I was able to inspire you and maybe help to show you how you can mix your prints. But even if you don't, how you can just do, you know, have one piece this a print and then, you know, just a plain color on the rest of the outfit. So hopefully you were able to learn something. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you are inspired to do something different in your wardrobe. If you were, make sure you like, you comment and you subscribe. Also, make sure you share the video because we're trying to really grow the Simply Pamela family. All right. Until next time. Bye.